The question I asked was, how many inches are in a foot? Who can tell me how many inches are in a foot? Um, how about, Angelique? 12 inches. And how many feet are in a yard? Erin. to be working with customary units of length. We're going to be working with metric. So we're not going to be doing inches, but I wanted to remind you uh, about how we convert things from inches to feet, feet to yards, inches to yards, because we're going to be doing something similar today. Okay, so today is 12 dash 6, go ahead and turn it off. Today we're talking about meters, decimeters, centimeters, and millimeters. And they've showed you what the abbreviations for each of those are. So decimeters is DM, centimeters is CM, millimeters is MM, and just a plain old meter is M. So we're going to build a meter stick. I've already cut out the meter um, stick strips, and we're going to place them end to end to build a tape measure that start that um, is a meter. So this right here shows me. In centimeters, how many centimeters is that? One. Thank you, Haley. Anybody else? How many centimeters do we see here? One. One. And how many millimeters is that? Ten. Ten. And I have two centimeters. How many millimeters is that? Twenty. You guys see it? Which one am I going to tape to this one? Twenty-six. Twenty-six, because that's going to come after twenty-five, which is right there. So I'm gonna... Okay, and then this one ended in fifty, so the next one should be fifty-one. And then the last one ends in 75, so this should be 76. Look at your meter strip. What patterns do you notice about the size of the unit? So one meter, which was this whole thing. One meter, which was this whole thing, was how many times long is one decimeter? Now this is a decimeter right here. So how many times a decimeter do you think it is? What do you think, um, Benny? Ten. Ten times a decimeter. And by looking at this, you can see here's one decimeter, here's two decimeters, here's three. So if we go all the way to the end of our tape, we see that it's ten decimeters. Okay. One decimeter is how many times long is one centimeter? So here's our decimeter. Right here. How many times long a centimeter is that? How many centimeters is a decimeter, Daniel? Ten. Ten, de ten centimeters equals one decimeter. And one cent centimeter is how many millimeters, Angelica? Ten. How nice and easy that is compared to customary measure, right? In customary, we're like 3, 12, 36. With metric, we work in tens and hundreds. It's very nice and simple. And you can see that when you look over here. So one meter is 10 decimeters, which is 100 centimeters, which is 1,000 milliliters, millimeters. All right, in your own words, I want you to go ahead and describe the pattern that you see. Okay, so everything is 10 times as long as the one before it, right? The next smaller unit, right? A decimeter is 10 times a centimeter, and a meter is 10 times a decimeter. So each one is 10 times the smaller unit, okay? Compare the size of one meter to the size of one centimeter. The size of one meter to the size of one centimeter. Use your meter stick to help. So, who would like to explain in words how they compared the sizes? Okay, so she says that a meter equals a hundred times a centimeter. Okay, and if we look here, we can see that. Here's a meter. One meter is a hundred centimeters. We compare the size of one meter to the size of one millimeter. Use the meter stick. What did we just say? One meter is? Equals 1,000. 1,000 times a millimeter. 
What operation could you use to find how many centimeters are in three meters? Operation, again, is multiply, subtract, add, divide. Okay, she says she would multiply. And what would you multiply? Three times 100. Can you explain to me where you got the three from? Okay, because it's three meters. And where did you get the 100 from? She said because in one meter, there's 100 centimeters. So in three meters, there must be how many centimeters? 300. Okay. So to find out how, if we know that there's 100 centimeters in one meter, then in three meters, there must be 300 centimeters. Okay. You can use different metric units to describe the same metric length. For example, you can measure the length of a book as three decimeters or as 30 centimeters. Since the metric system is based on the number 10, decimals or fractions can be used to describe metric lengths in equi as equivalent units. So you can also use decimals when we're talking about metric a lot more easily. Think of one meter as one whole. Use your meter stick to write units as fractions and decimals. So here we go. If one meter equals 10 centimeters, each decimeter is, this is a whole, so it's one-tenth. A decimeter is one-tenth of a meter. If I was going to write that as a decimal, how would I write it? Ronnie. Um, 0 0.1. 0 0.1 of a meter. Okay, let's do this one. If a meter equals 100 centimeters, then a centimeter is one hundredth of a meter. Here's my meter stick. They're divided into hundreds. Think if I chopped them into centimeters and I took one of those. It would be one of the hundredth. Okay, so it's one hundredth of a meter. How would I write that as a decimal? Right. Zero point Haley. One zero. Zero one. Zero one. Of a meter. One one hundredth. One tenth. Okay, now we're getting a little more tricky because we're not working with one, but a length of fifty one centimeters is how many centimeters, you have to ask yourself, how many centimeters are in a meter? How many centimeters were in a meter? 100. If there's 51 of them, then it's 51 one hundredths. Because there's 100 centimeters. How do I write 51 hundredths as a decimal? Preston. 0.51. Okay, now I'm looking at the length of 8 decimeters. How many decimeters are in a meter? No, how many decimeters are in a meter? Ten. Ten. So out of ten total, how many do I have here? Eight. 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 And how do I write eight tenths as a decimal? Shane. Zero point eight. Zero point eight. Okay. The length of eighty-two centimeters. I have to ask myself so I know what my denominator is. How many centimeters are in a meter? A hundred. So that's my denominator. And how many do I have? Eighty-two. Eighty-two of them. Now I have to convert that to a decimal. And what does eighty-two hundredths look like as a decimal in Helica? Zero point eight two. All right. Here we're looking at two meters equals how many centimeters? If you've forgotten, here's your conversions right here. So one meter equals how many centimeters? It tells you right here. One meter equals how many? 100 centimeters. So two meters equals how many centimeters? 200. You're going to multiply two by the hundred. Number two says three centimeters equals how many millimeters? So I'm going to look at centimeters. I'm going to see how many, how many millimeters it equals and how do they convert? One centimeter equals how many? Ten. No, you need to listen to the question. 
One centimeter equals how many millimeters? Ten. Ten. So three centimeters is going to equal? Thirty. Thirty. You multiply them. So remember when we did it before, we're going to do one centimeter equals ten millimeters so that we wouldn't get lost. Oops, I'll do that. So that we wouldn't get lost. You may be able to visualize it or you might want to change it to be the same unit so that you can really visualize it. So I'm going to show you why. Four meters is four of these. Four decimeters is right there. No, that's four centimeters. There's four decimeters right there. Can I tell which one is larger? Yes. Which one is larger? Yes. Okay, but my question says 40 decimeters. Can I see 40 decimeters on here? No. No. So I'm a little confused and I want to check. So I'm going to change 4 meters to decimeters so that I can compare the correct units with the correct units. So 4 meters, I want to change to decimeters, so 4 meters equals how many decimeters? 40. No, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to look at my meters to decimeters over here. I see that one meter equals 10 decimeters. Okay, how many decimeters does four meters equal then? 40. 40. So if I'm going back to this over here, I had four meters equaled 40 decimeters. Now can I compare those fairly? Yes. How do they compare? Equal. They equal each other. You need to make sure you're comparing the same units to the same units so that when you make the comparison you know what you're talking about. Like here, we have five centimeters and five millimeters. I can look at this. Here's five centimeters. Here's five millimeters. Can I tell which one's greater? Yes. Yes, it's super easy. Which one's greater? Centimeters. centimeters. Six decimeters is somewhere over here. Sixty-five centimeters is right here. Can I tell which one's greater? Yep. Yes. Which one? Six centimeters. Sixty-five centimeters. Now, if I don't have a ruler in front of me, I can convert the decimeters to centimeters. I know that one decimeter equals how many centimeters? Ten. 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 So six decimeters is going to equal how many centimeters? Sixty. Sixty. I do six times ten. Okay, and then I can see that sixty centimeters is smaller than sixty-five. Sixty-five centimeters equals how much of a meter? So now we have to ask ourselves how many centimeters are in a meter? One hundred. So it's sixty-five of those. And now convert it to a decimal. How does it convert to a decimal? Zero point sixty-five.